So let's talk about the one biomarker test that all longevity experts agree upon to help us understand how fast the rate of aging is occurring in our body. And that is called the Omega Quant. And this is part two of a multi-part series. So if you missed the very first one, I'll post the links in the description below. But in that video, we basically gave an overview of what the Omega Quant is. It's a uh, pinprick test that measures your red blood cells and your whole blood cell count to be able to determine what the ratios of fatty acids are going on in your, in your blood to be able to determine the inflammatory aspect and your dietary approaches to see how well your body is processing the fatty acids, which are a great indicator of optimal health and inflammation. And on this video, I wanna dive more into the Omega Quant Plus test because I find that that's the happy medium between everything you wanna see on the Omega Quant basic test without having to do necessarily the complete test. And on the next video, I'm gonna to explain to you exactly what's included on the complete test. So let's dive in. Hi, my name is Dr. Joel Rosen, and I am a health and wellness optimization coach. I help exhausted men and women that are looking for a fountain of youth to be able to tap into and realize it's really within their own body so that they can be their best self. And on this video, I really wanna dive into what's included on the Omega Quant and why I'm so in love with it to be able to tell you what's going on with your rate of aging. And on the Omega Quant Plus test, Basically, you're going to get the omega-3 index, you're going to get the omega-6 to omega-3 ratios, you're going to get the arachidonic to the EPA ratio, and you're going to get your trans fatty acid ratio. So let's explain what each one of these mean. As we explained in video number one, the omega-3 index is really taking a blood spot of which your represents your whole blood, and it is looking at the percentage of EPA and DHA in the red blood cell because ultimately the red blood cell analysis can factor as a high as 98% accuracy with a whole blood uh, sample because of a proprietary software that they use. But ultimately what you're doing is you're looking at the red blood cell content of omega-3s in that red blood cell content. And then you figure out what the percentage of those omega-3s are to the entire ratio of, of your fatty acids to see what your omega-3 ratio is. Ideally, we explained it should be at least eight to 12. If it's lower than four, that's a, a major consideration as well. And we see that the studies with the highest longevity markers are the ones that are in the eight to 12 ratio. And we mentioned getting really good oily-based fish, salmon, you can get uh, oysters, you can get halibut, you can get cod. There's a lot of different foods that you can get as well as supplements such as algae, krill, and omega fatty acid oils. But what I really wanna to talk to you about are the other markers that are on the, the Omega Quant test. And the first one we look at is the ratio of omega-6 to omega-3. Now, there's a lot of controversy on this because when we think about omega-6s, we think about them as being inflammatory and partially hydrogenated oils or, or foods that are processed. They're very high in omega-6s. And we so what we want to see is a ratio of 5 to 1 or 3 to 1, meaning there should be no more than 5 times more omega-6s to omega-3s or no more than three times to one. And ultimately though, here's where the problem lies because research has shown that linoleic acid, which is omega-6, is correlated with uh, optimal heart function and optimal health. So we really wanna make sure that we are not throwing the baby out with the bathwater and we are getting good plentiful sources of omega-6 linoleic acid. And these are things as vegetable oils, but I would be careful with which vegetable oils and how you're preparing them because if you're heating them past their smoke point or they've been exposed to sunlight, then they can rancidify and create major challenges. But we look at things like avocado oil or olive oil to really get a, a really great amount of omega-6, which is very, very important. And on the flip side, being very aware of not getting too much of the processed hydrogenated foods so that your omega-6 ratio is ideal. 
But what the Omega Quant company teaches is that it's much, much easier to be able to balance your Omega 3s through your diet with everything we just said with your Omega 3 index and focusing on the right supplements and focusing on the right foods to be able to boost your three and also make sure that you're removing the harmful omega sixes and you're getting the ideal linoleic acid vegetable oil sources. And another interesting tidbit that the Omega Quant company suggests is research shows that we should be getting somewhere between 12 to 24 grams of linoleic acid in your diet per day. The next major ratio that we see on the Omega Quant Plus test, which I think is what pays for itself with the information that it gives you, especially if you're looking to reverse your age or slow your rate of aging and feel a lot better. And that's why I love this test so much because we know that inflammation drives cellular wear and tear. And by looking at your omega fatty acid profile, you could tell what's going on with that acceleration of your cellular health. And no better ratio, in my opinion, will you be able to determine when you look at your arachidonic acid, which is an omega-6, which is an inflammatory based omega-6, which happens to be influenced by metabolic processes in your body, to your EPA ratios. And really, we want to see somewhere in the ratio of between 2.5 to 1 to 11 to 1. So what that means is for every arachidonic number you have of omega-6, you don't want to see more than 11 to 1, and you want to see somewhere in the area of 2.5 to 1. That's telling us whether there's a good ratio or is your body under stress? Is there inflammatory processes going? And I do a lot of these tests, and I see the number off the charts higher than 30 and higher than 40. And one thing that I want to tell you is, is that there's a major genetic component to this. So some people have challenges with pulling out arachidonic acid out of their red blood cells or out of their cell membranes to create more of an inflammatory response. And when you have the wrong environmental triggers with the genetic susceptibilities to create more oxidative stress and inflammation, this omega quant test can be so revealing to be able to put these puzzle pieces together and see how the genetic loaded gun is being impacted by the environmental triggers and most importantly how we can put together a protocol to be able to support you. So once again what would we do if we found that that arachidonic acid to EPA ratio was high? Same thing we want to boost up our EPAs or our omega-3 index so we look at the omega-3 foods once again. We also look at making sure we're getting good healthy representations of omega-6 which is the linoleic acid and we're minimizing the unhealthy representation of the partially hydrogenated oils so that we would get the best lowering of that arachidonic acid pathway to the EPA pathway. The last ratio that they show on this test is something called your trans fatty acid ratio. So trans fatty acids, these are the margarines, the processed hydrogenated oils that you are no longer supposed to be seeing in our food supply. It was estimated by 2023 that we would get these sources of trans fatty acids out of our food. And when you do a trans fatty index, you should have a ratio of less than 1%. So that means that of all the fatty acids in your red blood cell, you have less than 1% of the trans fat being representative of those total amounts. Now, if you see that being elevated or above 1%, the only way that that would get into your body would be through your diet because we don't make trans fats. And I have a sneaking suspicion that some of the food companies are not required to put, if they have 0.5 grams more of these trans fats in their serving, so meaning if they're less than 0.5 per serving, then they could mark it as being zero, which can be very, very confusing because if they have very small serving sizes in their amounts that they're calculating for what one serving size is, then you might be being misled. And I don't know if there is any major uh, fines or penalties if you are still putting these trans fatty acids or partially hydrogenated oils in your food supply. So you have to be really careful, read the labels and make sure it doesn't say partially hydrogenated. Now there are some challenges where these hydrogenated oils can occur in our food supply where we see the ruminant animal milk that there is a small percentage of trans or hydrogenated oils in these ruminants, but not enough to really make a huge difference in your overall trans 
fatty acid index. So if you are seeing high levels, it could be because of a history of highly processed foods. And we see these in certain foods like cookies, cakes, pies, uh, even popcorn, coffee sweet, uh, su sweeteners or coffee whiteners. You have to be really aware that if you've had a high history of, of foods that are high in hydrogenated oils, that could really be impacting your your aging and your cellular activity. You wanna make sure that you're at least doing this test to be able to see what that ratio is. Hey, if you're getting any value out of this video, make sure you go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe to our channel so that you can get notifications of other content like this. So on my next video, what I wanna do is I wanna actually explain to you the complete test. The complete test is fascinating because it shows you the entire profile of the omega-6 fatty acids. And what's really great about this is if you're looking to reverse your age and be able to feel the best as you possibly can, and you're looking for biomarker tests that all the longevity experts agree upon, then you're really gonna wanna make sure that you watch that next video so I can explain to you what the complete test entails and whether or not the basic, the plus, or the complete test are best for you. And in the links below, I'll have the links to the website, I'll have the links to their omega-3 calculator, I'll also have a list of different foods that are higher in omega-3s, and higher omega-6s that are healthy. And really, I want to give you value so that you know the best information for you to be able to not only halt your aging, but reverse your aging. So I'll see you on the next video.